Hey Tubies, it's me, I'm back again. Um, like I said, I know I haven't made any videos in a very long time, so I thought I would make up for it, I guess. <laughs> um, again, if you didn't hear from my last video, I don't have my tarot cards anymore, unfortunately. Um, but I can still do pendulum work and try my best to do my empathy readings which a lot of people do not know very much about. It's not, it's something I started doing myself. I need to get, I, it's just my way of connecting to you. It's just my sixth sense. And it's not necessarily good for everybody, but it's good for me. That's all I have, so that's what I work with. But, enough of that. I wanted to talk in this video, um, like I said, since I don't have my tarot, readings, tarot cards anymore, can't do readings, so I'm going to do my best to uh, teach you what I do know. Um, beginning with energy work or manip manipulation. Um, the basic one that I have made up myself, um, and I don't know if you can see or not, I'm sitting in one chair I love to do this in because it makes me feel you know, at power. I don't know, I feel, I feel up, you know? And, um, so yeah, this is my chair. I do it in this chair. And it, I, you, you can do this after meditation. It works very well. But, um, um, envision sit with both of your hands face up, palms up, of course, you know, the chair. And you want to um, envision a, uh, a ball of energy. That's dependent on you. How do you see energy? How do you perceive it? How does it feel to you? Just because somebody says it feels like a le pulse of electricity does not mean that's exactly how you're going to feel it. For example, when I feel energy, it's more like a pulse. It's more like a force. It can be like a throbbing pulse. It could be a pushing and pulling feeling. That's how I get it. Not necessarily how you will, but that's something you should play with, you know. Um, a good one that I figured out a long time ago before I was even in the craft, and I, I just made this up. I don't know what I was doing, but... Um, trying to figure which hand to use here. I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Okay. So you've got your um, right hand, your dominant hand, and um, what you're going to do is you're going to feel your, feel your palms. And so if you can't, if you're not very good at feeling energy, the best thing to do is rub your hands together. Like so. I hear my rings clacking. <laughs> the center of it okay. and you feel that energy and you can feel it there and you're going to want to pinch the middle of it like so and just pull up like you're pulling a string out of your hand and what do you feel it's a good way of it's a good exercise to um, envision or pinpoint your energy a good way to um, can't get my words out I'm sorry a good way to um, I don't know if y'all can hear me or not it doesn't seem like you can <laughs> but it's a very good way to um, focus there we go focus your energy and um, that's a very good exercise for that I feel like you're pulling it out just like so let it go in a second and absorb it back in Another one, more elaborate, you can do this after meditation as well. Um, meditation after, doing things after meditation usually gives you, puts you in a uh, aware state. You're ready to work with energies. And um, this one, you want to sit, you know, like this again. Um, this was the original, I was going to tell you the first time, but sorry. <laughs> 
holding both your arms out like this, you can envision um, two balls of energy. Um, I like to envision them as electric balls. Like I said, that's not how I feel it, but that's how I see it. Visualization is always key in the craft you want to that. But I see them as an electric ball. I take one hand out, said I got this ball. I can feel the energy. I feel the ball. It's there. I can expand it, shrink it, throw it into the other hand. Make another one in that hand. Add them together. Make a bigger one. Hold it above you. Bring it into me. And expand it. Make boundaries. Um, and then, of course, just take it back in. After that, you're going to want to visualize the same thing, whatever works for you. And you're going to want to expand your energy. See if you can reach something across the room. Um, you might want to sit on your bed and try to reach for the dresser whatever works for you um, but those are two good ones to do by yourself now there's many you can do with another person um, one of the ones that, that somebody told me I'm not very good at this one I can <laughs> get it I'm sorry but um, you gotta wanna rub your hands together again to get that energy flowing and in your dominant hand your right hand if you're right handed left handed if you're left handed you're gonna wanna visualize the coldest ball you've ever held. It's just freezing, absolutely freezing. Take as much time as you can to close your eyes and visualize it. Once you have it, go to your partner, take out the receptive hand, which is the one they're not writing with, and drop the ball into their hand. They will notice if they're very sensitive to energies or if they're not, if it just works, I don't understand it you will feel cold and they will feel cold in their hand. You can do the same thing with a heat ball. It works just well. I've done it. They say they can feel the energy, but they can't feel the temperature. I'm not that good at it. Thinking of the coldest thing in my hand, I just can't do it. <laughs> um, it doesn't really help to practice on yourself either because you can't... It's your energy, so... <laughs> but that's another one. Another thing you may want to do, if if you ever if you're good at that one, you know when you're bored in class, work, whatever, make those balls. Kind of throw them at somebody, see how they react. To kind of oh, cold, you know, or kind of oh, hot. Oh. Then it's you know, you're working. It's just fun play, right? Or visualize little darts, but that's not exactly the greatest thing to do. But those are just some, some ideas, and um, I'm going to try my best to make more videos. Um, nobody's had really any requests for me, so um, my camera's messing up again. <laughs> I need a new camera. Um, but yeah, y'all have a good week, and I hope this was very effective for you. Y'all have a good week, and blessed be.